Hey guys, I've got good news for you today because the Epic Game Store is now way easier to get set up and working on the Steam Deck. The Heroic Games Launcher now has a flat pack available so you can install it directly from the Discover Software Store. For my guide here, I've already got it installed so we're just going to launch it. You'll be greeted by a login screen, sort of similar to this, just log in whichever service you want. I've already set that up ready so we don't have to wait around. And then just pick a game to install and it is quite literally that easy now. It's a couple of clicks just to get it installed from the Discover Software Center and you'll see that straight away the game works. What if we want to install to our SD card though? Well, you might have noticed in a previous guide I already showed this, but you can load up the console terminal and put in this command, which will be in the description. You just need to match up the address to the SD card, which you can find in the Dolphin File Manager. You just scroll down to the bottom where it says Primary under Removable Devices. Click the name Primary near the top, and it will allow you to copy the address. The other perhaps simpler way for people that like clicking buttons is to install a program called Flat Seal which enables you to manage the permissions of the flat packs that you install. For flat seal, you just load it up, pick the application you wish, and then scroll down in the right panel to file system and add a new entry for your SD card there with no trailing slash. Then to actually find the SD card in the Heroic Games Launcher, when you're going to install, you click the Other Locations button, go to Run, Media, and then you'll see the name of your SD card right there. And that's all you have to do to get the Epic Game Store through the Heroic Launcher set up on the Steam Deck with SD card access. It is amazingly simple. There's one other setting you're going to really want to do, though. If you go up to the main settings and then scroll down, make sure you click so it minimizes when it launches something. This will enable it to work properly in gaming mode in the main deck UI. Otherwise, the application kind of fights with the game to display on the deck screen. And I'll show you it actually working directly on gaming mode. Two things you need to keep in mind though. If you're not using the touchscreen, you will need to change Steam input to mouse or mouse and keyboard so that you can actually move around and click things. And when you get into games, then just go back to Steam input and turn it back to a gamepad. That is it. That is absolutely all you have to do 